Okay, here are your three minifigs. First, you have Captain America. He's a very nice minifigure. Let's take his shield off for a minute. His head is printed. Um, his torso printing is very nice. He also has back printing. And he has, has it on the head there. Hang on, let me just move my light a bit. There you go. He has... And that's pretty much it. Um, and here is his shield. Very nice piece. The only problem is it's got this hand piece and he doesn't really hold it like this in the front. He's meant to, he holds it like this. But you can't bend the arm around so that's kind of the big error. But continuing on. Next we have um, one of the generals from Loki's bad guys. I don't know what they're called. He's very good. I'll take his gun off. Nice gold head. Um, good gold printing. Nice leg piece. Distinctive purple hands. He's got back printing on his head, and he's got back printing there. Um, his his gun. It's quite pretty cool. It's like a it's like a space gun, cut with just like pieces attached. And it's really big though, and you're meant to hold it. He's meant to hold it like this. And like a pew, pew, pew. yeah, you know like it. And here's a, like a foot soldier. He's got really distinctive printing. Nice. He's got different printing, and that's he's he's quite boring. He doesn't really have any like figures. Although his gold head is the improvement, which I do like. Now onto the main set. First, we have Captain America's Avenging Cycle. I thought it was a bit disappointing because in you don't actually see this in the film, but at the end you see him riding a chopper. So I don't know why they didn't use like a chopper piece like they have with the Wolverine bike, which I will review Wolverine his bike next because well I'll explain the end. But it is a very cool bike, especially these are the stickers. I don't like stickers, I prefer printed piece, but they they're quite easy to put on. Um and this little clip here is so that when you take Captain America, you can clip his shield on there. And then you know he just sits on here like this. And um you know drives off. Um, continuing on. Here we have like a little flick fire cannon, which I don't want to fire because I don't want to lose my bullet, but it's quite cool, easy to make, good design, you could use it in like a stop motion movie, but this is what the foot soldier is for. You're supposed to like stand him here, or you can sit, you're supposed to stand him like here and use that in a stop motion movie and then you flick it, but I don't want to because I don't want to lose it, like I already said. So that's that. And probably the coolest piece of this set, one of lo the flying things, is the back. It's, these pieces are stickers here, but they are very good detailed. These pieces are like a Ninjago type piece. These are the thrusters. This is another flick fire missile, because you know Lego have to put flick fires in every set now, but I'll continue on. Now if you take your, you know, normal soldier... And you, you can just put him here. It's, and he's like, because he's the general, he has to stand here. But he's he's quite he's quite easy to fit on. But with the gun, I think you're supposed to do that. And then he fires, and then you know he just flies like this. It's overall, um, I think a very good set. I highly recommend you get it if you're prepared to spend the money. I'm not sure the piece count because, like, I'm not in America. I'm in England, and they do not have. The piece count on the British boxes. So, my next review will be Wolverine, his claws, and his chopper and Magneto. I'm sorry I don't have Deadpool. I only brought the Magneto, Wolverine, and his claws and his chopper bike, which I accidentally bought two of, off the, on on eBay because I didn't like the helicopter. It's kind of dorky looking, but you can watch someone else's review if you like the helicopter. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Peace. Sorry, please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment. Goodbye.